Okay, hello everyone. We're gonna do a get ready with me because it's Saturday and I have not left my house in several weekends. Um, I've worked out and that's about it. But other than that, I've gone to work, worked out, and have done nothing else. So we are leaving the house today and so we're going to get ready and the first thing we need to do is something to wear. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Um, let's see. I want to wear a dress because I'm not allowed to wear dresses at work. So we don't need any jeans. I've had some real glitzy stuff. Let's see. It looks good. Okay, so this is the dress that I chose to wear. It has this little flare detail, and it's not so close because I don't really like stuff touching this spot. But this is loose enough that it doesn't bother me too much. And now we're going to do the face. Alright, so I got this part all set and ready. I have my mirror over here. I'm going to switch it just a bit to make it a little bit better on me. Mirror wise, I'm gonna start with eyes. So I'm gonna start with some Milani eyeshadow primer. Don't need a whole lot one way or the other. I don't plan on being out for the rest of my life, but I'm going to start with a big fluffy brush, and this is the Urban Decay Honey palette. And can you tell the colors I use the most out of this palette? So I'm going to go in with Drizzle, which is a bit of an off yellow color, and just, and it comes off much more yellow. So if you have more yellow undertones in your skin, which I have, it comes off a lot more neutral. Same one to fill in my brows. I don't have an actual brow filler yet. I haven't gotten a chance to buy one. But that is what's happening there. And now I'm going to take a flat brush, a flat concealer brush and a little bit of concealer. I just grabbed my color corrector. This is ELF's Holt the Hydration Camo Concealer. Just going to tap it a bit on there and help make a little bit more of a brightness on the eye. Just make that a little bit brighter. Okay, so now I have used a flat brush. This is actually an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that the things have started coming off. But I am using the color, Ig no, I'm not. I'm using the color Smog from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And you know what? With the color, I know I seem cranky. I literally just woke up right before I did this video. I took a nap. Um, this is the color Stranded, which I think was a dumb name. Because <laughs> it's like the born to run, escape, travel. Why would you go with the word Stranded and not like Treasure Hunt? Flip that over and just blend those two colors together. Just marry them up a little bit. I'm going to darken that up with this really deep brown over here called Good is Gone, which I think is a great name for a born to run named palette. I'm going to go underneath the eye with that smog color, that first color that I used up here, just to connect it. I'm just going halfway with it. And then I'm going to connect stranded underneath the other inner part. This is the brush that comes in the, the liner brush from Profusion that you can get from Walmart. And now I'm just going to go ahead and just blend that color I placed on the outer corner there. Just use my Bobbi Brown corrector in peach. Um, it's all the way down there. I thought this wasn't empty a while back, but turns out there's a lot that you cannot, this is all the way at the top and look how much product is still in there. I'm gonna just kind of blend that out with the fingers. Now I'm going to use this Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. Do I look perfect? <laughs> I'm going to go in. This is the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum 
in two to three light. I'm going to apply that with a beauty blender. I threw on a pump because this actually originally came with an annoying eyedropper, which I hate <laughs> because this is like, look at this. This is not super liquid, even though it's called a serum, it's not super heavy liquidy. It is an actual like cream. It has thickness to it and trying to get the right amount out through a dropper. I think they were just trying to go with the, oh, it's a serum. It's a serum. Like, you know what? You can add a pump when you know your product is pump worthy. It does apply more full coverage with a brush, but I'm going to go ahead and second layer this and be right back. All right, going to go in with my um, camo concealer again. Just have some spots. Just want to cover up because my skin has been hating me. <laughs> I set my brows with a gel now that I have finished putting my full face on. I also set it with some Maybelline Fit Me um, powder. I'm not really needing killer staying powder for this. And now I'm going to add some liner and mascara. Okay, that looks less crazy. Look my highlighter. This is the Revlon Skin Lights in Daybright Glimmer. Going to use my e.l.f. Small Stipple brush. Any small brush will do, but I'm going to start with this first. Because I like putting highlighter on before my blush. Go down the nose. Up just above the eyes. Because I think that's where, you know, light hits. And then... I'm also going to go in with my liquid bronzer. This is the color Ginger from Milani because this tube is so messy. And this all out. You ever meet somebody who says that putting on makeup and doing all this effort just for a couple hours really isn't worth it? You ever meet those people? And it's like, I have bought and paid for this makeup, right? And I could go the entire day not using it at all i think not using stuff you've paid for is a lot more wasteful than using it for a short period of time i'm going to use the orange color which sparks fly from hard candy because i think orange goes nice against this green Sephora 56 brush. And for the lip, I'm going to go with, this is a color called Audacious. It's been discontinued, unfortunately. But any kind of a pinky orange will do. Just kind of playing off of. And time for a wig. There we go. I added my evil eye pin, some simple earrings, and I did add some um, Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme gloss on there. And we are ready to go. 